again? Is that with your armor check penalty factored in? Uh, no. no. So what's your acrobatics check, Ruth? Um, Zero. So, oh, no, 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 no. It's like a two. Five. So, uh, full plate. Uh, master work full plate. Master so it's magic. Yeah. So it's a negative one. Master work full plate. But, and it's minus five. But you got that tower shield too. I also have a tower shield. So I'm total. So my armor check penalty is at a solid negative nine. Yeah. Fuck, bro. So I'm, uh, yeah. So minus six on that acrobatics. That's why I don't Ooh, do anything. With the metal with acrobatics. leg. <laughs> you on getting ready You're the acrobatic yeah. one. <laughs> I can still do it. All the acrobatics. I don't yeah. know if you've noticed, yeah. but I have hand sprung and cartwheeled my way through many a town. Yes. <laughs> that river of oil begs to differ. <laughs> <laughs> One failure. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Alex. Fucking Alex. You might as well roll like a crit fail. Yeah. Fucker. <laughs> Cursed. 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 Cursed every single time with yeah. that. Seriously, Ooh. I. It, it, I have feeling. Good feeling. I I just put my dice out and look. Both the twenties are on the twenty. I didn't even do that. <laughs> Those are both of the twenties that you were gonna roll this session. Mm -hmm. And now they're both gone. No, no, now they're gone. They're gone. <laughs> now now they're gone. <laughs> I roll like five nat twenties and like five nat ones per session. You you really do. Yeah. Suffer the extremes. Exactly. Great. How we suffered just below. <laughs> either like rolling 13 to 17 or You're like. Either just like super cozy in eight. or it's like 17, not 18. I only roll high on things that are like Doesn't not matter. useful. Fucking yeah. <laughs> That's just my fucking MO. It's like getting out of the carriage. I roll to see traps. Nat 20 perception. Where are they? It's like you're. You're in the random field. Yeah. In the middle of no, there no are traps. no traps. <laughs> you, it's like, but I got an at 20, so I see it. It's like, you see all zero traps. The area is secure. Good Congrats. for you. <laughs> you did it. You know what is a reward for your height? You find a copper piece in, in a couple blades of grass just laying on the, it's, oh, find a penny, you know? Like, mm -hmm. no. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> Guess what, penny was cursed. Oh, man. <gasps> it's what? You, look for, you look for traps, but you didn't hit, uh, that Arcana check, so, uh... <laughs> coin Magical tax. curse. <laughs> there are... There is a world in a, in higher-level gameplay where DMs get really uppity about that. Where, like, trap sense and stuff will not sometimes work mm. for runes, for magically inscribed traps, if okay. they're 100% magical, and so you have to have knowledge arcana or some kind of spell craft to roll with it or whatever. I've mm. seen some DMs do crazy. I don't. I just, perception's perception. Yeah. It's perception. See it, smell it, feel it, I don't, whatever, man. Taste it. Just get a weird feeling and stop for a minute, get hyper paranoid. Yeah. And if you're in a magical world and you're looking for traps, yeah. I think it's fair to assume yeah. that you're You're in any kind of high things. fantasy world. Yeah. You know, my next campaign I'm planning to be like extreme low fantasy. Mm -hmm. And so if you do so happen to run into a magical trap, it would be understandable. Is that run. your uh, World War II? No. no. Different one? No, no the, the World War II is just mm -hmm. basically following the historic line. So that's mm -hmm. no fantasy. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, I'm making a new fantasy world. Okay, that I'm hoping to do for just stream. Mm -hmm. That'll be kind of a, it's a, it's a, I think it's a fun premise. Where There's every, it's, it's like a short campaign thing. So unlike Mad King where it's just like, how long is the campaign? Nah, however many side quests you do, and yeah. however long it takes to level up kind of deal. Mm -hmm. You know, definite beginning, definite end. This campaign's going to be more of a short campaign that constantly builds off of the previous campaigns. So okay. the previous parties get to become, get to then build lore for the world for the next oh, run. dope. And then it's just time progresses regardless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That'd be cool. I think it'll be fun. We'll see how it goes. If I, it goes. One of the shows I really like to watch, it's The Magicians on Netflix. Super good show. Mm -hmm. um, but Hitler is in the show. Just really? like a kind of a side character. And like half of the students, because it's like a university, like grad school where you're learning how to do magic. Mm -hmm. um, like half of the students in one of the classes went back in time to try to kill Hitler. And Hitler was a battle magician who just blew them all up. <laughs> That's how he took everything over as he was a superpower battle magician. <laughs> Dear God. Spoilers for my World War II campaign. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in the Pacific. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You start the campaign like, what is it, a year and a half before Germany surrenders? Mm. And then the real campaign kicks up, you know? 
Welcome back to Mad King, everybody. Hello. Hello. I didn't realize we were on. Sorry if you like that show and I spoiled anything for you. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, if you haven't seen it, that's on you. It's been out forever. Cold opening should be a pre-warning for spoilers for literally anything and everything. <laughs> yeah. You guys, currently technically in initiative, uh, Roy has just slipped out of your grasp ran downstairs calling for an all retreat from the guards down below that were forming up and getting ready and they are fleeing the bailey at least uh do you guys wish to stay in initiative and pursue them or i think we should take just a sec take a breather yeah cast some uh, cast some spells before yeah. Oh, you need healing is what I'm hearing. Uh, no, I'm, I'm <laughs> talking about the many... No, he heals himself fine. Yeah, I'm <laughs> talking about the many uh, buff spells that I have. Oh, prepared. So, yeah, you know, actually prepare for possibly facing an army downstairs. <laughs> I have bless. Bless the party, Donald. Yes. Yeah, Raymond's kind of standing up there awkwardly now with you guys as he's ran down and you're not just, like, immediately, like, funneling after him. He's like, so, uh... That was awkward. You guys know each other? Pretty yeah. good then? Good friend. Unfortunately, you won't join us. Kind of look like a little bit more of a friend than me. But... <laughs> <laughs> I would have never guessed by the way you were being stabbed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Couldn't get through to him. Right. I, pardon me for being rude. Why did you befriend the enemy? Well, when you knew you were going to come take over the... Well, we were training. He was nice with me. We, uh... Oh, okay. More like an acquaintance. Well, there's nice. no bounds. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Well, and he just kind of, like, adjusts his scroll belt. Are we, um... Are we going to go after them? Or are we just kind of claiming victory? Well... Want to go down there, see what's going on, see if there's any other pockets of resistance. But before we go, we should uh, just take a second, cast any buffing spells we need before we mosey on face an arc. Right, I don't really do buffing spells. Um, well, I'm going to cast some spells. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so... Do you have anything you'd like to cast? Druids have a myriad of wonderful buffing spells that you didn't prepare. That I did not prepare. Um, I thought about it, but... I'm going to cast Bless. Yay! I do have guidance that I can give everybody. Plus one! A plus good one. guidance, plus one on your next d20 roll. Mm -hmm. Plus one. That's plus one to states too, right? Uh, I, think, sure. I think it's just plus one to whatever your next d20 roll is. Ah. Or I think a d20 a roll the next plus minute. Plus one on will saves, too, no? Or am I thinking of something else? For bless against yeah. fear. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Fear. Okay. Plus one on attack rolls and saves against fear. Plus one. And guidance is a consumable plus one mm -hmm. on just any d20 roll. Plus one. I'll even let it go to circumstance. Yeah. Why not? I feel you guys generous. roll so low on circumstance anyway. <laughs> Uh, and you won't remember I said that. Nope. <laughs> we have other things to think about. Hey, the, there was that one time I got that Drake, though. So you rolled it. It was. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's pres prestige spending. As well. All right. So and yeah, I rolled that's those still going to be active. So for Zelly, she's going to prepare for the next bout by uh, drinking. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As as per usual. So, yeah. Yeah. I just felt like it needed to be said. Yeah, getting pretty sloshed up now. Always. Hell yeah. So actually, it is time to start rolling circumstance for that event. Oh, and in that nineteen, you black out for a moment. Oh, nice. Cheat. And uh, you find yourself no longer standing at the top of Bronshire. Oh. Oh. You find yourself at a lavish party surrounded by these divine individuals 
all drinking and eating and having a good time. Wow, what the fuck are you drinking, bro? Wine is flowing freely. There is food scattered upon the table, lounge chairs everywhere. Everybody's in a toga. Good time. And on an abnormally large lounge chair sits Bacchus. Yeah, okay. Bring the party. Humongous turkey leg in one hand, goblet of wine in the other, food all streamed down the beard. Kind of grotesque sight, but he's having a good time. Everybody else seems to be into it, you know? Covered in food. Ugh. Now, <clears throat> let me uh, preface this meeting with, uh, it's not like <clears throat> personal, right? Um, you're great, doing fantastic. And I wanted to let you know that I've got another chosen disciple that's made his way over to the continent by some miracle. Wasn't supposed to be here, wasn't supposed to be doing anything with anything you're doing. But like, now that he's here, I don't know, maybe if you two find each other. Oh, okay. Um, does this person have a name? Yeah. He, uh, Yeah, yeah. And he kind of looks around a little bit, and a servant comes over and whispers in his ear, Italian, Italian, that's right. Italian. Italian. Okay. Sounds um, familiar. You go find that guy, he'll, he'll help you guys out. Okay. You own a bar. Yeah, yeah, we do. He's... Easily influenced. Ooh, okay. Um, I have a favor to ask you while you've called me here. Mm. I know that's a little presumptuous, but I think you would enjoy this. Um, so I'm going to have to make a trip over to Silvershire. Classic. Yeah. How would you feel about when I get there, if I like call out to you, you just, you know, make everyone drunk? This is a big rager all over Silver I Shire. am not allowed to make promises anymore. Because I'll forget. But if I called to you. Oh, right now, I would love to do that. Okay. Don't. Yeah. Cool. Try to remember that. And you're back in the... Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you just... <laughs> Right back with all your compatriots. Not 12 seconds has passed. Can I see that? You hit the floor and you have a little bit of vomit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Cool. All Maybe right. Maybe you want to get like a... Um, I twist, reach though. over and grab his sleeve. <laughs> I'll have sleeves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <then>. <laughs> <laughs> Just the back of your hand. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> Better wash that taste out. Oh. Yeah. Little little nightcap. Yep. Dun, dun, dun. You got all your buffs done? Yeah. You calculate. Try to give you enough time. The fucking yeah. hair on the back of my hand. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a shag rug. Oh. Okay, that's only a first, right? Now I have a plan. Now you got now you got a plan? Yeah. Okay. No, that's a second. Okay. Y'all yeah. kosher. Head downstairs. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it, it seems abandoned. The four doors are just kind of left open. You hear a couple confused voices from the rooms on the other side. And the doors to the Bailey are wide. Uh, walking through the room towards the open doorway, you catch just a little bit of the guards leaving through the gatehouse and cutting the ropes, locking you inside. Okay. They seem to be heading into the city. Well, let's follow them. Think you can, you and I can lift these gates for people? You, you know, we could sure try. You're going to follow them? You're not going to check out the other couple rooms inside? 
Oh, you did say there were people talking in them. Yeah. How many rooms are there? Uh, there's four doorways. So just split up and each take a room. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you uh, quickly find out that there are only two rooms, and they just both have two doorways mm. that huh? go in. Yeah. You! What are you doing? Down both of them. Is that a rabbit? <laughs> are cages. I'm a tiger, bro. Right. Are uh, you a tiger? Loosely <laughs> occupied. Oh. People in rags. They've got a bucket, some old hay. It's the jail. Mm. What are you guys in here for? Uh, uh, you know, a couple of the guys are kind of stammering up some excuses. Some other guy from the cell is like, don't do it, he's a rapist. Kill him. And he's like, Kill damn him. it, Jerry, Kill don't him. say that. <laughs> it's a misunderstanding. Oh, God. Yeah, that's kind of worse. You, you raped someone? So, oh. You're dead meat, bro. <laughs> what, did you rape a man or a woman? Oh. Oh. What? How is that relevant? A rapist is a rapist. Yes. Oh, he's dead for sure. He's dead for sure. Yeah, you can rot in here. Uh, I have things to do. Um, I guess it's better than being hung tomorrow. I'll just start calling for Aslo, Alonzo, whatever his Aslo, name is. Aslo, yeah. Uh, the room over to what would be the east side. At the very far end of the hallway, you find him. He is hanging out in a uh, in a bigger cell, not quite a communal cell, but he's sharing it currently with a red kobold. It's the lizard, the lizard king. Yeah. And as you approach, the lizard immediately begins side eyeing you. Uh, Can't they only side eye people though? To be fair, he was friendly. No, kobolds are predators. They have forward facing eyes. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, um, remember you. Um. Do you know? Do you know who was supposed to have the keys to this? I'll just ask both of them. Aslo is just kind of confused. He's oh. Like, I uh. You're here because. Oh. Um. Long story short, we're taking over the town, and uh, friends wanted to save you. A uh, 30 in perception, do I? You find him pretty quick, yeah. Cool. Aslo! Cool, we're here to save you. Cool, now I believe, and he like looks down at the cobalt and he's like, it's alright, they're cool. And the lizard just kind of, he's still looking at you, but he just kind of gives a little nod. Uh, I think the keys are just hung up over by that far doorway over there. I don't think the guards bothered to take them when they all rushed out. Awesome. I'll unlock the door for him. Question. Yeah. How Answer. drunk do you think I am at this point? Oh, ex you're excruciatingly. You just blacked out for You just moment. blacked out. And then took yeah. another drink. Perfect. You were when at you a party with Bacchus. You can't get there unless you're heavily. Well, I take oh. another drink. Schlosh. Fortitude save, please. Don't. Pretty good fortitude save. Uh, 25. Unfortunately, you remain conscious. Cool. Damn. Oh God! If we have to carry your drunken body around, I'm. The uh, the kobold nads will both immediately go over to a chest, and uh, flip it open. The kobold begins receiving his stuff. Aslo pulls out an old paintbrush, and a bow, a little quiver. As he pulls out the bow and the quiver, I break down crying, and I hug him. And call him Zuma. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Why do you smell like vomit? Just had a long day, kid. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna like back out of the room. What? <laughs> what's a Zuma? You know she hasn't told us. I lift him up. Oh, okay. All right. We're going. Yeah, you just turn and start. Yep. Yeah. You walk out with him, <laughs> leaving you with the kobold. He just kind of looks at you as he puts this holy relic uh, on the amulet. It has a book on it. And it is carved out of a strange stone that you've never seen before. I'll make a religion check on that. Yeah. Uh, 24. <laughs> it is a uh, religious symbol of Thoth. Oh, okay. The Keeper of Knowledge. Mm -hmm. And that would be his book, yes. The book of everything. Okay. Um, he puts that pendant on, and then he grabs this humongous tome and tucks it into a compartment inside his cloak. And he kind of looks at you a little bit, and reaches out, 
his three-fingered hand in kind of a shake. Yep, yeah, I'll give it a shake. Grabna. Yeah. Rizzle. Pleasure. Here. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's guy. I'm uh. so excited we found Grubna. <laughs> he kind of looks at the rest of the prisoners <laughs> as he leaves. We'll sort you all out later. And then like, oh, well, come on, man. And yeah, you. Head out. <laughs> uh, there was a trap door as well, just past the cage. Oh, but, you know, perhaps something for yeah, when you come back and make this your temporary home. Yeah, it was so yeah. I'm sleeping in the jail. You guys head out. The first person to run into the obstacle is you. The gate is closed. Big, heavy iron gate. There's nobody around. How tall is this gate? Uh, the walls? Yeah. Let's sit maybe 14 foot high. Because on that side, of course, since that's from the defender's side, there is no kernelation on it. It just goes to the platform. So that way the defenses are useless. You're going to jump with Aslo? Yep. Oh, God. Okay. Just lift. Yeah, we 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 between the two lift. of us. Y'all, like... she's drunk and she got there first. You're too late. And you guys are like <laughs> just coming out of the front door at this point. Grugnog and Raymond in tow. And then he's just like, what is she doing? <laughs> yeah, just looks like she's jumping. It's not in that one, so uh, 14, 27, 47. 47 is fantastic. Yeah, you just standing vertical. 14 foot up to it, just <laughs> like a monster. You're just morrowing that bitch. Yeah. You land on top. I need a fortitude save as you land. Hey, uh, 23. Yeah, you, you feel a little bit of puke come up, but you fight it back down. Yes. And as your vision tunnels, you get just this, like, rage inside. And your vision reopens up. You're still in it to win it. You guys got some catching up to do. Yeah, well, mosey on up to the gate, and the two of us will try to lift it. Yeah, I'll help. I'm large. Oh yeah, you're a big dog. <laughs> big dog. Big cat. <laughs> and there are, of course, only so many people that can uh, get in on this at once. If the three of you go for it, Raymond most certainly will not be able to assist. But oh. he is a he is an older gentleman at this yeah. point. Yeah. He still seems very physically fit. But yeah, we'll give we'll, we'll try to give it a, mm -hmm. give it a lift. Yeah, who is making the strength check and who is assisting? Somebody can what raise you add and increase strength? their strength. Uh, mine's a mine's a twenty. Mine's also a twenty. So. If you raise, I'll can assist. you make it more? Uh huh. Then yeah. Oh we'll wait, you. your strength is a twenty. Yeah. I'm at a twenty-seven. Whoa! Shit. Yeah, lift that shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I didn't think it was that high. Yeah, fuck it. We'll, yeah, my we'll help the tiger. Like, the uh, like the like kobold approaches you as you go to make this move, and he kind of raises a hand and mutters a couple of words. He gives you bull strength. <laughs> Thanks. That 20, yes, okay. Yeah, you guys go to like, to assist. <laughs> put on, and you're like, okay, you guys ready? And it just starts going. Oh. As NVIDIA just alone lifts this iron gate. With their paws. Should be a tiger more often. Probably with <laughs> yeah, like a, through. probably nuzzles underneath and just lifts now. with the neck. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, we'll just mosey on through, I guess. Can I see first? Yeah, uh, there's the second iron gate. Yeah. Fucking, I guess the two of us can lift that. Yeah. yeah. Can hear that one. Roll once more. I gotta proc my rage. You squat down. <laughs> it wasn't great. No, it wasn't great. It was, great. It was four on the dice. So yeah. That's. Well, I mean, I assisted. What's the total? 13. You got a, you got a two. Assists, yeah. yeah. 13. 13? Yeah. yeah, you guys strain and strain uh, to no avail. Cool. So what? Uh, I jump again. To where? Like a little the bit of poop in my pants. Over the, the next gate. gate. The next wall. Oh, you, you're just, you're on the gatehouse. You can just walk there and then. Oh, perfect. I don't jump. Yeah. Key point not spent. You can just hop down. Dope. Yeah, you're, you're slow falling shit. Yeah. yeah. You hit the ground, you stumble a little bit. I was like, hey, wait, hold on, man. Like, this... <laughs> he seems really disorientated as you're just... You just start petting are, are you just holding him like... <laughs> it's okay. Is this like bridal carry? Is this over the shoulder? Fireman? I have him Big like, hug? Yeah, like, he's so, like a child with arms under the knee and then head over on this side. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> like, 
He's just like laying there looking up at you, and he's just like, I don't. Please don't vomit on me. I don't know how <laughs> just I feel about bird. this. It's just like, oh. you really don't seem okay. Are we, where are we going? Don't ask questions. I, Shut up, Zuma. I really feel like I need to keep asking questions because you're just not answering. Thinking you to your father. Oh, okay. Hey, I greatly appreciate it. Can I help you by walking? No. <laughs> please, please, please. No. And you just start leaving. <laughs> All right, it's Ellie's walking into town. Okay, well, I mean, we can try to make another roll, and I'll lead it this time. No, nah, dude, I got it. No, I got it. You got it. Yeah, fine. See, oh, look at that. That was a 19. Yeah. Okay, I assist. 21? 21. 21 is not sufficient. Got fucking Did you add your strength to that? Yes. Oh, bummer. Uh, it, at this point, Raymond walks up to you guys and goes, um, might I have a go? Please. Um, please step to the back gate if you don't mind. Okay. And he kind of like spits on his hands and he rubs them together a little bit and he grabs a scroll out of his belt <laughs> and he flips it open and reaches out towards the gate and in his booming commanding voice, move! And the gate just... You hear two little pings, and the gate falls out from the railings. I found my explosives. Uh, yeah, it's because I loosened that up. And right, slaps onto the ground. <laughs> We're gonna. Have I'm to just fix in the that. back, like watching. Okay. All right. <laughs> he goes. Well, let's catch up. I was gonna wait to use that one. It you, works. Do you guys like jog for her or something? Yeah, we'll try to catch up to her. Yeah, you guys. You're just about a quarter of the way through town. You're coming up on the police station. And uh, are you just, you're just beelining? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not paying any attention? Anybody I'm paying any attention? Yeah, I'm going to make a perception, a perception? Yeah, I want to yeah. see, like, where, first of all, well, are you looking for Adelia? Because I want to see, like, where the soldiers went. Yeah, that's that's what I'm looking for, just general perception, because, you know, we're walking into this yeah. besieged town. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. Probably be beneficial. Yeah. 28. Um, I got 27. I got a 26. Yeah, you guys all see, uh, as you're just catching up to it, Zelly, at the police station, uh, you see a couple guards post on the roof with bows. Uh, they are going about town square, clearing civilians out. The town crier is in full emergency sirens mode. Just a dude like, Whoo! He's just standing there. <laughs> <laughs> There's like five, ten just, you know, not kids, but younger teens just run <laughs> people are closing doors and stuff there's a couple people peeking out of blinds a couple of the braver men in town and stuff are just like standing out front of their shop scratching their bellies to see what's going on there's always those guys in the middle of like a shooting where they're oh, yeah. just like standing outside like what's going on over there yeah let's go i'll give them away pulls their phone out they all look kind of confused and uh as you guys are approaching the guards are making a very small line, and you see Kyle's with them. Standing there, he's actually got a sword on his belt, and he kind of stands ahead and he goes, what did you do? As you were the first one approaching, they are blocking the street. It's impossible to miss at this point. I'm in the middle of something. Can you guys move? Charlie, what did you do? Where are you going with that prisoner? <laughs> okay. Listen, man, like the Mad King's an asshole. Jeff worked for the Bad King, and y'all work for the Mad King. We can't have that anymore because he's killing stupid people. And he's killing all these things, and he's just bad. And I don't want to deal with this anymore. And so we're taking down the Mad King, and we started here. And so you need to leave, or you can join us. Oh God! Who is the Mad King asshole. killed? Who hasn't the Mad King killed? He looks at all the alive people around you. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, that's kind of a ridiculous question. Are you talking about the war casualties? There's that, and then there's all these kids that just get sent to concentration camps everybody's cool with for some reason. It's not okay, man. Like, 
but <laughs> his, his, his name is literally <laughs> Charlie. The draft on magics existed for decades. It's wrong. It's their civil duty. No, that's what society wants you to think, man. Like, get woke. <laughs> <laughs> Any <fortitude save? laughs> As you guys catch up fully. Oh no! Just, oh no! Sixteen. And there goes the consciousness. <laughs> <laughs> and you like get woke, man. Uh, and you just collapse. Uh, Aslo awkwardly now pinned underneath you, and he's just kind of looking up at you guys like, um. Oh no! Now he's gonna get drooled on. <laughs> All right. So, I'll just like Kyle just looks at. Is, oh. Has she been? Did, you, did she break out a prisoner because she was drunk? Yes and no. Yeah, y yes and no. Um, but she does make a valid uh, point. Mad King with these monstrosities that he makes using the parts of prisoners, I'm assuming, or possibly the children that don't make it from outside of these camps, as well as just... The creatures are a myth. They're not. Absolutely. Made up propaganda. <laughs> I got that bag of holding. I mean, if you got that demon skull still in there. <laughs> well, I mean, that's a demon skull. It's not one of the monstrosities that the right. king made. Well, do however, you know that? I do have... No, because the skulls are only... They're like human skulls, aren't they? They are mm -hmm. human skulls. Damn, because I've been collecting those. Damn. It's just because... Right. Look! Did you just kill a man on Did the road? You... <laughs> All right. There... I, I understand that you guys are new to like the area and stuff and you, you know you obviously didn't grow up here but <coughs> this is how things have been for decades his name right, is, and we're trying to change it his name and is literally the bad king are not i really feel like assisting to end the war would be better than that's what we're doing treason that's what we're doing by defeating us not you guys the mad king Mad King. You guys want? He looks at his green tabard with the insignia of the Mad King on it and looks up at you like. Personal yeah. choice, Kyle. You, we can need you. We what can, part of there's a draft on magic? Did you not understand? Get fucking woke. <laughs> God damn. <That's> okay. okay. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> We're doing this against the Mad King. I understand that you guys work for the Mad King. However, if you can join us in this endeavor, we can all work to end this craziness that's been happening. Because, again, those monstrosity things are very real. We have fought how many of them? Four at this point? Here, They're Sally fucking disgusting. Three. <laughs> <laughs> three. And now she's like, oh, God! <laughs> Oh. Is he still just trapped underneath you? I'm gonna help him. I'm talking about eight bears sewn together. Uh, there's there's a deer that has. Can I whistle for deer? You, you can, can try. try. I mean, if if he if, seems if, to if, hang around, not quite bronze. That's like three days. Well, away. you never know. If he's around and he comes up, then that's fucking proof. If so can you can you whistle like seventy miles? Uh, no. I mean, you could try to get the Achilles guys to do it. <laughs> no, because he doesn't know the deer, so he can't really. Yeah. So, anyways, they're very real. And they contain human or humanoid bits and pieces. They're, they're gross. We're trying to put a stop to all this. Unnatural. I'm sure the horrors you've seen on your adventures has been quite taxing, but you can't just hostily take over a town because of that. We're not here to hurt anybody. We don't have to. We need to really let all those it. guards they go. They the left Bailey. free of will. We're not trying to hurt anybody. We don't have to. I ask. Join us to end this madness. We can work together. All of you men have families that I'm sure live here. Help to better their future. Can I roll a diplomacy? Yeah. 
and then I need everybody to roll perception shortly after that. Okay. Except for you. I stand on the ground. You can roll for Aslo if you so desire. Just like, oh shit. I'll roll for Aslo. <laughs> like, roll 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 what matters. <laughs> like a really quiet fart it just like comes out. What does Aslo add to perception? Uh, he's a forester. He's I a civilian. An he's kind. Of, he's not necessarily. He's a ranger. Give him. Give him thirteen. Cool. Twenty four is good. A little less because he's dealing with. You know. Being pinned and having vomit on his chest now. So give him a solid twenty. Okay. <laughs> that is going to be a thirty even. Thirty on the even on the diplomacy. Nice. Very Eagle nice. splendor adds four to charisma. Sure does. Yeah. You could reach into my pocket and find the bendy straw. Bendy straw. <laughs> you are covered in bones. <laughs> Nobody's touching and you. We're, we're on the, <laughs> in the middle of something. <laughs> Smell great. Perceptions. I got you, you most certainly see the guard wavering. Nineteen twenty-five. Nineteen twenty-five. Um, da, 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 perception mm. six. Uh, twenty-five as well. Yeah, you don't quite hear it. Uh, you two, though, in Aslo, hear horrific wails outside the wall to the eastern side. Oh, is that the bridge? Towards the bridge. Yo. It is, and it is like this chorus of men screaming in agony. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> For but a brief moment, and it goes silent. And you see Kyle and all the other guards just like look that way, horrified for a moment, and then look back at you guys. We're not here to hurt anybody, we don't have to. <laughs> Mark likes to kill mad Kingsmen, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> and this one taught them all how to build horrific traps. <laughs> they, got, they got three of them. We wish to negotiate terms. <laughs> We'd love to have you. Okay, you guys do the negotiating, and I'm gonna run over to where that sound yeah, just came like, from. Yeah, you like go around. I'm gonna run as fast as I can and yeah. try to get that to stop. <laughs> yeah, you start bolting. We want the grace to remove our families and leave town peaceably. Are you sure you don't wish to join us? If any wish to stay, I'm not going to stop them. Is this Kyle talking? Yeah. Do we have a deal? We do. He looks over at the other guys. Go spread the word across town. And he just turns, takes a couple of steps, and disappears. <laughs> the guards very awkwardly now are all like, starting to disperse around. Some of the younger guys and stuff that probably don't have families are just like booking it towards the, towards the front gate. <laughs> and uh, as they clear out, there is but one man that remains. An older fellow, silver hair. As he looks upon you, was it your friend that uh, killed that young boy? couple months ago? Was it you? This is the old man that uh, you hung out with a little bit when you first got into town. Oh, he was the guy that was following me around? Yeah. Yeah, the old man that was very nice to you from the get-go. Oh, dope. Um, I... They killed the young boy. Which... There was the kid. There was the kid. That they were kind of training in. Oh. Yeah, and Mark got... I wasn't here. <laughs> Do I know that Mark got him? I mean, or when he said that, you were uh, pretty dead on that it was, <laughs> you assumed pretty quickly. Yeah. Mark was the only force around that was killing Mad Kingsman at that time. That we knew of. That you knew of. I mean, it wasn't I'm you. I'm going to say. <laughs> no, because he asked if it was my friend that did it. I'm going to say that I don't know, and I'm being honest. He was a good boy. He was. A lot of these guys are uh, real good fellas. Indeed. I've talked with a lot of them. That's why, again, we're not trying to hurt anybody. We don't have to. But we can't let the Mad King continue with everything that he's been doing. How many cities have you been to here? Uh, two. 
Which ones? This one and uh, that one a little bit more down south. Hmm. And you know enough to act like this? Seen enough, yes. <sighs> Young men in their easily swayed minds. And he just turns and starts sauntering off. Damn. Just puts his sword down. He just walks off. I want to pick it up and try to offer it back to him. The roads are dangerous, man. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. I don't have the money or the knees to move towns. But I'm not going to work for you. That's fair. Yep, he walks off. All right. You, you have <laughs> bolted ahead mm -hmm. out the city gate. It is unguarded. And uh, as you round the corner, you come up towards the bridge. And you see a gruesome sight. Oh, God. Uh, standing atop the bridge, Mark and Jimmy, there are many uh, guardsmen sliced in many different ways, arrows pin cushioned out of them, <laughs> laying about the mouth of this bridge. Both Mark and Jimmy seem rather bloodied up, mm -hmm. but behind them now stands Derek. And just outside of that kind of immediate melee range is nothing but charred corpses and destroyed ground. Out to about 60 feet. Little kind of, not burnt like a fire, burnt like melted. So, question outside of character. Did the party technically kill these? <laughs> <laughs> these ones out here? No. Technically, no. However, we are. That is questionable. We are affiliated with all three you of these people. You most certainly orchestrated the death of them. Yeah. But no. No, we're basically Your deal, responsible. Yeah. The the silver mirror deal is a direct personal responsibility kind of thing. Uh, like a by your hand and those immediately with you. Cool. So the one time it would have been useful for all of these bodies to be gone before the other guys showed up, they're going to still be there. Now you still could potentially offer them. Well, I don't have a mirror anymore. But you don't have a mirror anymore. In fact, only one of you does. Yeah. Did you make a deal with them? Sure haven't. Fuck that. Oh, no. <laughs> Why did I make the deal with them for? Gato's soul. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. To make sure it wouldn't come back. To make sure that it didn't go wherever it was being pulled to. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah. That was kind of nice. <laughs> if you say so. Yeah. It is disgusting. Mm. And there is one of the most putrid scents that your nose has ever smelt. Dope, dope. Oh, and your type. And your type. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just accented by that. Yeah. Cool. What did she say? <laughs> uh, you two. Do you follow after? Aslo is still underneath. He's, he's now wormed his way out. Mike, slap her face, wake her up. None. Nothing. None. Out. All right. Cool. Maybe pour some out. water. Out. I knew we were going to be carrying your drunk body around. All right. Well, how far I is just the got terrible news. <laughs> I am dealing with it the only way I know how. I know. And has we just don't like, know what the terrible news is. <laughs> looks at the two of you guys and goes, "If you have to like go, I can watch her." Oh, we got you a babysitter. You're good. Uh, all right. Zoom. Uh, Let's. Yeah, you you stick with her. We're gonna go just, check on everything. Just be careful. Yeah, all right. Man. <laughs> Have fun. She's so, strong grip. You know, do what's right. Yeah, I. None of this is fun. You know, I'll watch her. Okay. I wanna. So, Raymond volunteers to stay behind as well. Okay. I wanna ask East. Go check on the uh, oh, tiger I rabbit. I'm going to just go around the town, make sure that <laughs> everything's copacetic. I don't yeah, see people that. seem so rushed. Aww. People seem um, 
just y very confused, some terrified, some just kind of sitting out watching the show, not quite understanding what's going on. And guardsmen are moving their families, and like people are packing things and fleeing. Okay. Anybody seem a perception roll since you're going around the town? There's something important that you might find. I don't know if I'm gonna find it. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Something finds you. Oh. As you are traversing through, you hear a short, sharp whistle from a dark alleyway. Mm-hmm. Do I take a peek? Yeah, there is a man in a black coat, piercing green eyes coming through the magically shaded face. You didn't um, warn anybody that you were going to do this. This is quite abrupt. You know that, right? Yes. It was a lot more abrupt than I and was originally planning. This is going to oh, cause this was your plan. a lot of shockwaves <laughs> through the kingdom. Yeah. They could prove very difficult for you. All right. I'm going to keep updating with your organization about this. So you're the handler. Please. Lisa said that she gave you a sending stone. Uh, yeah, but you never told me that you were my handler. So it's how was I supposed more to know? Fun that way. Oh the well, you know, then you can't get mad at me for a lack of communication. You could have gotten Dude, on the sending stone and us. called your handler. <laughs> With a fair warning, hey man, don't come to school tomorrow, you're cool, or whatever. No, Ian! <laughs> Things are pretty uh, hectic out and around here. Again, you, 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 you could have told me. This would have, a lot of things could have gone a lot smoother. Yeah, a lot of things could have gone a lot smoother. I just wanted to make sure that you knew what you were on about. Your order, of course, does not like the Mad King. My order loves a little chaos. So you're, you're not with paladins? Oh, absolutely not. Do I look like a paladin of John to you? No, but... Obviously. <laughs> so you're my handler for the... Yes. ...them, but you're not one of them. Intelligence services are not necessarily your church's strong suit. <laughs> but... <laughs> Them and um, the Underground Order of Smiles have quite close connections. Um, I've had some dealings with Smiles. Cool guy. Right. Cool guy, he says. Obviously. Of a god. Cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> very, very cool guy. Is this a good time for some new information, or uh, yeah, are you guys all any kind of like peeks out and you can just see like through a little angle of a couple of buildings and Zelly just like sprawled on the ground with Raymond and Aslo standing over She's her. got babysitter. She's fine. What do you got for me? More vomit coming. <laughs> and he pulls out a note. I'll take it. Read yeah. it. You take it. You go down to read. It is a it's from Ironshire. Okay. And it is a citywide day of mourning that is to happen in four weeks' time, which I need to mark down on my calendar now that I've made that official. It was written down the whole time. What are you talking about? <laughs> DMs know everything. They don't have to make things up on the spot. No, why would they do that? No, oh, that's ridiculous. Everything is planned. Inviting any and all who God, know or simply wish to pay respects to a noble house to go to the funeral of, oh fuck, what's her name? Yes, yeah. the boop. god, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I know all the things. They what did I name? To the man behind the curtain. <laughs> what did I name? <laughs> it's a problem with pre-naming characters. I can't just bullshit something on the fly. Do, 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 Iron Shire. So 
If it loads. So how's everything going? Name that will be given. Name that will be given. Okay. <laughs> Insert name. Of the Vical household. Oh. Oh, that bitch. That bitch. I know that bitch. I really don't. Let's see. All right. I just got put up here. Do, 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 do. Aluma. Youngest daughter of the exiled ex-heir to the house, Charles Vikel. Your father. Oh, fuck. Huh. Your half-sister is dead. Oh. I feel nothing. Oh, shit. <laughs> hmm. Who is she? <laughs> Interesting. Any information on how she died? Uh, it says... Though she was not in the public eye, she went peacefully in her sleep with all the grace of a noble woman. Uh, sus? Homegirl was poisoned. Does that seem sus to you? It, was, it seems very sus to me. <laughs> in his most serious voice. <laughs> Now, I don't know what your investigations have pulled. There's no record of her. Yeah, I, uh, I didn't know she even existed. Charles did not have a prior relationship. Noble families usually do that. Hmm. You thinking it wasn't his daughter, or? Oh, I have no idea. I could send for someone in the order to go speak with your father. Um, I just got this yesterday. He just has a thing for orcs. And he didn't want everybody to know that. Like, well, no, because if she like, was, if cool, she was also an orc, then... They wouldn't be celebrating her. Yeah. Well, she was kept out of the eye. Well, she was still an iron shower, though. So. Yeah, I'm just saying, they keep hmm. monsters locked in well, towers all the time. That's, like, yes. that's a true fact. Send word to my father and let me know what his response is. I will let you know as soon as I get word back. Appreciate it. Of course. Also, uh, you let the uh, church know that we got two towns now. So The update has been filed. Got it. I want to make sure they know. And uh, if they have anybody to spare, you know. Well, if you wish for a call for reinforcements, I will file it. Yeah, I honestly doubt that they'd be able to send much, but you know. Your order seems to be much more concerned with recruitment currently. Oh yeah, oh yeah, rough days. Oh, speaking of which, heard that somebody else made it out of there. Hmm. The. Uh, Dragon Sanctuary Slaughter. I thought I was the only one that made it out. Apparently, uh, Mouse says that somebody else made it out. Interesting. Mm. Sus. That is out of my organization's loop, or at least mine within my organization. Mm. Ooh, you spilling trade secrets? Perhaps something worth looking into. Yeah. Very interesting indeed. Why does it hurt your pride to know you were not the only one? No, I just <laughs> was the only one. Get and dunked, when I came son. In, everyone said I was the only one, and it's good to know somebody else made it out. And I was just curious who it was. Perhaps until recently you were. I'm glad I shared this trauma with another human being. Or perhaps there's some fun secrets about. Who's to say? I've got a guy over by your main temple. Perhaps we'll investigate. Perhaps. Well, you have anything else for me? Uh, yes, your friend has gotten up and is currently stumbling towards you at a breakneck pace. You might want to address that. <laughs> I left her with her babysitters and I can't even keep her down. All right. They had Thank one you. Job. Of course. You oh. turn around, she is on the ground. Oh, yeah. And you spin back. Oh, and he's gone. You fucker. All right. What do you expect? He says he works for smiles. <clears throat> Jesus. 
Makes you sense. Pretty All right. Pretty I'll sense. just continue yeah. doing a final check of the city. Yeah. I'll try, like, There doesn't seem to be any, like, rioting or anything yeah. too terribly crazy. This is all happening very fast for people. Yeah, I want to just go around and calm civilians and, yeah, kind of yeah. kind of give a little... You're doing so? ...little spiel, like, as I'm walking through, calming people down, everything's okay. Yeah. That king's an asshole. As uh, you're walking out to go meet NVIDIA, uh -huh. the kobold is following you. Doesn't seem to say anything. He's just trotting along behind. Uh, you get up, you see the horrendous sight in front of you. Yeah. As now Frida is coming out of the brush, and uh, her oh. and Derek are tending to Mark and Jimmy. Holy shit. I'm gonna walk up to Mark and Jimmy. Yeah, they just kind of like, Mark's breathing heavy, but he's got this wicked smile on his you short guys, face. And you guys do this? Oh, man, it was a good fight. It was the uh, the adrenaline for it. Nice. Up top. Hannah would have just... Yeah. I'm going to like start chest She would have beat me for doing it, honestly. But I like to think that somewhere she's up there proud of me. I'm proud of you. Thank and you. And I'm going to move on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, Derek has collapsed on the bridge. He is sitting down with his face in his hands, crying. Derek, you good? I, I don't. No, I'm. Is it? They were the bloodshed, the well, the, the screams, the faces you'll never forget, and your sleep, that that sort of thing. It, it's it's truly haunting. Yeah, it could be better. Well, I was, the pep talks on this guy. <laughs> I was supposed to be auxiliary. I was just supposed to be here to heal, but... Is that not what you did? When they got pinned down and couldn't escape, and the guards kept piling up, and then more came from the gate, and then more and more. And then that man with the smile showed up, and he was just furious with that spear. I, I they, they needed help, and, and I... Did you do all the Bernie stuff? Why? I, yeah, and he just immediately loses it after Fuck. that. You know, Derek, if you didn't help, think about where our comrades would be right now. He's just crying. He doesn't seem to be listening anymore. Fuck up, Chet. <laughs> Put like a piece of jerky in his lap. Frida, Frida gets done kind of healing the boys up, and uh, Jimmy comes up to you and goes like, yeah, that one with the spear was a real issue, but um, him and that horseman guy dipped away. Uh, some dude with like bags under his eyes showed up and said it was lost. Mm. Mm. Uh, Fucking Kyle. Fucking Kyle. Fucking Kyle. It was a real rough one there. You guys, uh, I kind of counted the guards and stuff. You, you said maybe we were going to deal with like some of them. By like Oozle's count, that was like most. It was a lot, a lot. Yeah. Fuck us. God damn it. Well. And it seemed like, uh, you know, after that one guy showed up, it seemed like maybe they were going to re-rally and sortie back in. Uh, it was a good thing. Those other couple guys with the spears showed up and kind of chased them off northward. Mm. Guys did a hell of a job, though. Oh, you know, it's, uh, it's not necessarily hard work to thin the masses like that. Dude, dude. Dudes with spears? I'm oh, not there. God damn it. What about the dudes with spears? Oh, the spears, they had like, uh, you know, there were like some, uh, there was like a bear, there was, uh, you yeah, know, there were like some animals and stuff running around with them. Lucian! <laughs> oh. And yeah, like right as they kind of, they, they formed back up, Derek showed up. Spearman and the horse guy were like, oh, we can't let, you know, monsters like this persist near our town, we do have to make a stand. Mm. We at least need to handle this situation. Derek started crying. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, and then like this group of like, you know, twenty five dudes with these animals showed up. I kinda just thought they were like your guys' friends. Your friends? Hunter You're party. there. The hunters. Oh yeah, it must be the hunters. I oh. told I, they're not mine. What? Interesting. Cool. Yeah, I don't know how far north they're going or whatever, but uh once they all ran off, eh, maybe they'll come back around to something. But I'm yeah. feeling great now, so it ain't really my yeah. problem. Well, well, the uh, inside went pretty good. Yeah, yeah I bet. Because most of the no guards, guards leave. 
Yeah, we're we're in a predicament here, fellas. Cause Uzel uh, kind of made a deal with the the guards on the inside and said we were not gonna kill. We, he specifically said we weren't gonna kill anybody. We didn't need to. Right, right. It's at this point that you hear a female scream coming from south down the road towards the main gate as the first of the guards and their families are starting to make their way up the road. Mm. They uh, turn and run the other direction. <laughs> oh. oh, God. Oh. Uh, you're just getting done with kind of your safety inspection of the town. You're going to head out and meet up with the party outside, probably. That's where they are. I wish I had any empathy. Uh, you reach the front gate, and people are running the opposite direction now and starting to curve around the other side of town towards the west, yeah, I have uh, screaming about demons. I'll take a peek. Demons? You see your friends all standing over awkwardly by the bridge. <laughs> And I see all... And you see the carnage laid before you. Like facepalm. And just... Ooh. <laughs> Yo, it worked out pretty good. These guys did great. Derek burned so many people. It's about three quarters of the guard force represented in corpses. I'm just going to turn around and direct people to go on the what? other side. The ones what's... that are still coming out, I'll just tell them to go on the other side. What, what, yeah. What's the matter? Is this not, is not the plan? Those are just direct. No, nope. oh, <laughs> you go, you go. Yeah, I'm gonna go up to him. <laughs> yeah, you go walk up. The uh, the kobold's still there. Time I'm back. Hey, it's about dude. this time. Raymond shows up. He's got <laughs> Idzeli stumbling, <laughs> one arm around both of their shoulders as they're just kind of walking towards you. Am I awake? You are conscious. <laughs> yeah. Lucid. I'm here. Yeah. You're somewhere. <laughs> now that she's like super wasted, now's the opportunity as I'm waving people to yeah. go the other way. So who's Zuma? This can wait. Yeah, who is Zuma? <laughs> Roll as you so desire. Yeah. Okay, we're going to see. If... I 20 this fortitude, I will speak with you. If not, it will just be more vomit. Not nat 20, like just Zoom be above 20 with my fortitude added. Yeah, it's above 20. Zuma is, she's, and we need to save Zuma. We need to save Zuma, guys. You need to tell me who she is first. Zuma, she's Zuma. She's, she's awful. I fucking hate that little bitch. She's so, <laughs> She, we gotta save her. Did you guys see how many dead bodies there were out there? She she called me Zuma once. Shut your mouth. What? Tell these people you're gone. Yeah, that while they're doing this, I'm trying to like at you're least like, like pile you're like the bodies nuzzling. or something. Yeah. Most of the uh, it's most it's just charred the, corpse. The the inner circle of bodies He's that are just melting. mangled and cut up and stuff. You can easily kind of nudge those. Yeah. They just roll around like dead bodies. Mm -hmm. The ones seem to be kind of like melted and almost fused to the ground. Mm -mm, no, somebody can el somebody else can deal with that shit. You'll no. need you'll need at least like I can go. a good snow shovel, you know. Mm -mm. I'll go I, I can do it. I got a pretty big sword. Oh god. Yeah, I'll just go back there. A spatula. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk. Oh, dude, can I loot the bodies? <laughs> There's not a lot to find, <laughs> my guy. Let me loot the bodies. Technically, technically gold is an unreactive metal, so you do find in totality Let's just roll for it. Six, 69 gold pieces. <laughs> Yo, nice! Oh, nice. <laughs> start, like, start like scraping off the bodies and like put them on and like reach in the pocket oh, of like God. just a dude's waist and you're like, oh. No, no, there is no need. The the nice. gold pe the melt the clothes is melted off, and so it's just oh. like these melted charred corpses with like gold pieces stuck to them. Oh, well, I'm just gonna like scrape it off. Yeah, you can't let it go to waste. Little little gold, silver, and copper coins. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm gonna like go over. Like you could see where the pocket was, yeah. and it's just a little, little collection of coins nice. just melted part way into the. So I'm gonna start like scraping the body out. off, as in just like eat a piece of jerky. Oh God! <laughs> I need a fortitude saving against the smell. Oh okay. Yeah, that's fine. You're so Since lucky. you are directly working with them. You are so lucky. My back is to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, bro. That's pretty. That's a thirty. No, you good? That's you ain't never good, smelled man. anything like this, but you can take it. <laughs> Not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, the, the bodies are piled. Add that gold. The friends are healed. Uh, 69. Derek is not quite recovered yet. All of the guardsmen have left town by your count. Or the few that chose to remain have made that apparent. And uh, y'all just kind of hanging now. Gotta bury these bodies. Do we? Yes. Drunk one. I mean, yeah, everybody's just kind of like looking. It's like Mark was like still kind of excited. You're like, we got to bury these bodies. Like, oh, busy work. That's a big scary. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so it just like sits down. It's a big okay. scary. I'll bury the graves myself. I don't give a fuck. The goes it up. Cobold uh, kind of looks at you. Should we let you. the townspeople collect their dead? Or most of them left. I mean, we could ask. <clears throat> Well, call the big scary. Are there um, how many bodies aren't like burned to all fuck? It's it's the best I can do. Seven. Don't but worry. They're still. Let me see if mangled. I can understand you. <laughs> Don't worry. Are you from sensor. shoulder to hip, from halberd, pin cushioned with arrows? We'll do like a. Jimmy was like picking out oh, eyes. No. no, absolutely not. We'll do like coverings on as much as we can on the ones that aren't mangled and we'll let family members try to see if they can find them. Daddy! And I'm going to start burying the other bodies. Out of your pocket, a little mirror topples out onto the ground and a little projection of this charcoal figure with a ghastly white skull painted across his face shows. I just kind of crawl slash roll my way over to you it. You can't see the stuff that's in my mirror. You can see this. She can? Yeah. He hmm. is projecting himself. Right oh. Now. Ah. Barrett Zelly. Hi. Are you ready to make some intoxicated deals? <laughs> I, I don't want to make a deal, but lots of bodies. Oh, but so many deals have already been made. Well, so many things, so many special people in your life it could be so easily delivered. Oh, oh, fuck no, fuck no! Somebody get her away from that asshole right now. Yeah, I'm going. So yeah, the mirror's just there. on the ground, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm do we all see this? Over. Yeah, the image follows. Do we all see this? Yeah. Thing? yeah okay. Mm. Is this normal? Wait. No. Who's that? <laughs> You'll bring me Zuma. I can make that happen. I start trying to nudge her away. Get no. Don't it's talk Ellie. to him. Don't do it. It's I'm, not worth I'm, it. I'm pretty sure it's just like a three day a week schedule. You no harm class? will befall her from my end. No matter how easy for me that might be. I do, of course, have the power to grant you just about anything you desire. But don't do a... it! <laughs> it, no! Alive. You killed Zuma. Do you wish for me to heal her injuries before seeing you? Or do you wish to see her in her career? Oh, shit! Shit! Okay. Nope. We lost her. That's it. <laughs> Good for her, man. What is her current state? I feel it's best that I heal her before bringing her to you. However, I do need a bloodline permission to replace lost body parts. Oh. Nothing too serious, mostly cosmetic. Just an eye. And about half of a nose. They'll be the same color. I have an extensive collection. Oh, God. That seems pretty cool. <laughs> and with that, the full mm -mm. figure appears in this kind of holographic form in a very real scroll appears in front of you 
with an iron tack. Simply sign. Bite my finger. It's, it's not as... I clean the tack every time. People just always try to do their own anyway. He rolls it up. Oh, do you want to get the bot? No. There's so many bodies. These are not for him. Oh, well, they're not covered under contract, so if I do not have full consent, I won't step on any toes. Here. Yeah, fuck off. He's so easy. He's gone. Poof. Sleep well. On the morrow, everything shall be most fantastic. And the image fades. A little silver mirror lies next to Oozles. Bye, Daddy! <laughs> God! Um, the Who the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, all the NPCs are just sitting there like... <laughs> that is someone you don't Except for Derek. Interact. Derek's still crying. <clears throat> Anyone gonna? Who the fuck was that? His daddy. Daddy? Yeah, he makes bodies go poof. It's That's big cool. scary. No, not cool. That's cool. Not cool. Well, if someone would tell me. Death god. Death god. He's Fucking asshole. Ah. He's not any of the death gods you would recognize. No. You you know. No idea. <laughs> you know most of the undead lords, at least. Yeah. You should be you should be familiar with most of the pantheon. Mm-hmm. I don't know is Aslo is. standing close to me? Uh, yeah, he was. He was holding you up for a good cool. portion of that until you started crawling. I I crawl back over to Aslo, and I like use him to stand up, and I just hug him I'm like we saved Zuma. Yeah, we <laughs> we did it. Um, what did we do? Save Zuma. Right. But who was? That? Oh, shit. Who did you just sign your life away for? I don't know. Oh. Oh. I didn't know. Oh. Oh. Wow, this just keeps getting more complicated. I fall back asleep. And then, <laughs> Curl up and take a nap. <laughs> You what recover what you fuck? can. The melted corpses are probably too yeah, horrific. Yeah, the, 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 the melted ones and are all that are fucked yeah, up that yeah. aren't recognizable anyways. Where do you wish to bury the bodies? Where do you take them to? Just kind of along the river bank we, right there? Are we burying the Is melted there, bodies does, too? Does this town have like a cemetery designated yeah, area? totally. Bring them over there. All yeah, of them? you start what about carting the them down that way. Uh, people are starting to kind of come out at this point. Mm. We'll, we'll cover. Question. We'll cover it as we... Get some tarp. Yeah. What about the unrecognizable bodies? Getting buried as well. So is that going to be a group grave kind of deal, or... No. Well, what are you going to do? You're going to bury them individually? Ones. Yep. You do know their name? Nope. Just going to... Yep. Seems like a fucking waste of time to me, but okay. <laughs> you don't have to help. You spend the rest of the day... The kobold helps you. I'll shift into a, a dire badger and I'll help you dig. The kobold goes and he pulls out his thick tome and kind of flips through it and walks among the grave plots and every now and then just kind of points at ground and just a six foot perfect grave cube awesome. just That's cool. appears. And we'll keep the ones that are still recognizable. Yeah. Like Raymond will help people. There's a lot of questions coming your guys' way. Yeah, a lot of townsfolk. Uh, how are you Orals and shit. explaining this away? <laughs> uh, I'm sleeping. Yeah. You get to avoid it with mud. unconsciousness. I'm a badger. Good <laughs> <laughs> one, <laughs> 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 guys. <laughs> I will explain <laughs> it the same way I explained it to the guards that Mad King is a fucking monster. He... Tears people apart, Ooh. makes them into monstrosities. Those monstrosities that you thought were myth are not myth. We've seen them. Whether or not you decide to believe me, unconsequential. But it's true. There are countless children who are carted away, go to camps, never to be seen by their families again with no choice. The vast majority of them die 
If they don't die, they're forced to serve the Mad King. We believe it should be more of a choice than that. People should be able to live the lives that they wish, and we're trying to put a stop to it. You are assisted in your speech by about halfway through a militia of about 15, 25 armed men appear. And among them, one old man with a cob pipe mm. makes his way forward. The people of Hunter's Haven will stand with you against this tyranny. Chris Panshake. Yeah. You're welcome. You and Arbor <laughs> shake hands as he receives his son covered in vomit and in rags. <laughs> but well. I'll get some water on him and clean him off. Okay, he receives his son soaking wet <laughs> yeah. and in rags and slightly still smelling of Slight. yes. but whole. But not chunky anymore. It wasn't chunky to begin with. You think it's okay? <laughs> Do you guys guard the city? Well, yeah, we have for to... For the night? Yeah, we have to post guards. Oh, no, these kill all the fucking cards. So we have like... to keep... <laughs> We have to hold until, you know, we can build up again before moving on to the next thing. Now we don't have to go to Silver Shack. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> we saw that problem real quick. God damn it. Hell yeah. <laughs> I was not expecting no, you to. No, God blessed it. The Someone blessed it. Where do you the guys go to stay? Do you go back to the familiar bar? Or no, do you fuck go no. To Somebody's going to come in and slit our throats. To your new Bailey. Well... You I got need all the all the garrison. Had, did did any of the, the did any of like the guards or anybody anybody like that say the cops or anything like there that? There seems like there's a couple of them that are staying. There's maybe like three or four that are willing to maintain their jobs currently. They were just kind of like okay and just kind of like tossed off the tavern and was like, "Do we have a a uniform?" <laughs> We haven't gotten that far, but we'll you get do you also see there's a pretty big influx. There's a there's a good chunk of people that come forward well after your speech and kind of into the night that are starkly in support of you and ready and willing to sign up. Yep, fucking fantastic. So I'll organize a, a watch mm -hmm. for the evening and then we'll tackle all the logistical stuff in the morning. And I'll cast Keep Watch on myself so that I can... Oh, solid. Can you hit me with that, too? I cannot. I you can only get... You got the one? You got the one? That would be... There is one. Always, there is. always buffing and Keep Watch is such a good spell, and no one uses spell it. Too, though, right? I think you can only cast it on yourself. Um, it depends right. on what you're playing. I think it's a paladin. It's just yourself. Oh, yeah. Because when you... Well, no, it's a, a, well, it's a paladin spell, but it's also a spell for other people. Yeah, yeah. It, it should be the same. It should be mm. the same targeting regardless. Mm -hmm. Well, wait, let me see. So I know Nap my, stack you can cast on other people. That's a good cleric spell. With my first... What were you playing in that other campaign? I was a sorcerer, but I was also an adjusted sorcerer because uh, Tapa had changed the class a little bit, so... For sure. Makes okay, sense now. Hold on. So, sorcerer can always use a little love unless yeah. you really know how to play him. Yeah, I know. Tapa... Oh, oh no, yeah, I can totally give it to you. Okay. Oh, I didn't no. use all my first levels. Solid. So, yeah, we'll both help patrol and... And when we come back from our break, morning. Morning. Family reunion. Be back. You're still here? Video's over. But uh, while I got you, like and subscribe. Consider following us over on Twitch.